check out the security room near the cursed castle at Sketchyland to understand how insulin, glucagon, and epinephrine regulate the synthesis and degradation of glycogen. The security team not only monitors any suspicious activity happening at Sugar Street, but they also store some vague documents in the control room. Last week, there was some unconfirmed rumor circulating around about some kind of raid, and people were saying that they needed to shred some files, but nothing really happened, so probably nothing to worry about. Anyways, looks like we've got some action on the TV to the left. Up top is a ghoul making some cotton candy. Recall that she's glycogen synthase, which catalyzes the rate-limiting step during glycogen synthesis. Down below is a guy with a glowing necklace powered by a P battery. He's glycogen phosphorylase, the enzyme that catalyzes the rate-limiting step during glycogen degradation. Hey man, stop feeding the ducks! As you'll see shortly, the hormones insulin, glucagon, and epinephrine act on these enzymes to control how much glycogen we make or break down. As a reminder, insulin is an anabolic hormone that facilitates the absorption of glucose from blood to skeletal muscle, adipose tissue, and the liver. Insulin promotes the synthesis of proteins, triglycerides, nucleic acids, and glycogen. Our recurring inside welcome mat will remind you of insulin. And it looks like someone left a little glycogen cotton candy there. Wonder who that was. Let's dive further and look at what's going on at a cellular level. As you can see from this diagram, insulin binds to the insulin receptor on hepatocytes and skeletal muscle cells. 